Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Prison Architect and our Sentencings to Straight Jacket series. Now, I know I have not done a video on this game for quite some time. I believe it's actually over a month since I've done a video on this game, and I do apologise for that. Now, when I was booting this up this morning to uh, do this video, I thought to myself, right, Let's just take a step back for a moment. You have nearly two and a half thousand hours in this game. What do you actually want to do with this prison? Because we've pretty much built everything we need to in the game in this prison. But what do I actually want to do with this prison? Well, I want to make this prison a criminally insane prison. I mean, that's the whole reason I got the Criminally Insane DLC, is so that I could do the Criminally Insane stuff. So, I want to have around about a hundred Criminally Insane inmates. Currently, I have 33. <laughs> so, we want to expand that a little bit. So, I am very, very close to finishing the Reform Through Education Initiative, which is a pretty damn hard program to, uh, to get done. And we have just over 44 grand. Uh, obviously, we'll have about 80 or just over 80 when we've done this. Um, so, I need to start actually making the expanded prison that I want. Now, I'm not just going to have a criminally insane um, prison. I think my plan is to convert all of this into minimum and medium security. Uh, I will continue to have death row somewhere, uh, but I will have a minimum and medium security prison that will pretty much just be like labor as an income. And then I will have the greater amount of the prison will be the criminally insane wing. But to do that, well, the prison's got to exist. So without further ado, let's jump on in there. Uh, let's stop one of those classes. Let's start a general education class. Make sure there's people in it. There is people in it. Wonderful. Uh, we don't have any um, workshop apprenticeships or workshop classes going at the moment because we haven't asked a ton of people already doing it. We've got the carpentry going because that makes a lot of money. And we're going to go ahead and build our expanded perimeter wall as our first port of call. Let's make it a reasonably even number. I think 70 will do just fine. And how high do we want this? Uh, can we get it to 150? No, that's quite close to the edge of the map. We'd have to buy an expansion. Let's go for, I don't think 130 is enough. Let's go for 140, and if we have to buy an expansion to uh, to make things work, then we can do. Insufficient funds. Wonderful. <laughs> well, we're making our way definitely towards what we actually want. Um, obviously, I've got the CCTV and stuff going, going in security. However, if I install CCTV now... I get that I can just dismantle it and save myself the money of putting the cameras in later on. But if I put in CCTV now, am I just going to end up dismantling it when I reshuffle it everything? Or is it worth it because of the amount of time it's going to take for me to actually get everything done with the expanded prison? Personally, I think it might actually be worth putting it in. I really think it might be worth putting it in. Because um, we have nearly 150 prisoners um, we do actually have a lot of space to bring in new people but a lot of our chappies are um, busy with patrols and uh, their various deployment zones which we could very very easily clear up if we uh, if we got CCTV in so actually let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that now I currently have two CCTV monitors and each one can take up to eight cameras you can add more than eight cameras to them um, but once you add more than eight cameras to them you will notice that like some of the wires start turning on and off because they can only watch eight at one time 
Um, so if you want constant viewing rates on all of your cameras as long as there's someone actually watching them, then you're gonna need the uh, you're gonna need the all eight screens going, and you're gonna need multiple monitors. Now we do have a phone tap. Did I ever actually connect that? I didn't connect it. Wonderful. Now you see these can only be like you can only listen to one call at the same time, so you can have multiple. I'm not going to. I think just doing that will be enough. Uh, I am going to go ahead, however, and put in another CCTV monitor. Now I am actually going to have door control. I'm going to have a door control system. Um, I'm only going to have it in my criminally insane wing, but I am going to have a door control system. So let's go ahead and put our cctv cameras in places we want them now i know some people have like mods with like arrows telling them like which way the front and back is i'll be honest i've never had that problem because there's always been a slight angle on the front of it and the back has always been straight so i've really never had a problem with it and like i've always been able to really easily tell the difference between the front and back um yeah i guess some people struggle with it personally never had the issues right so we'll put one there one there um and then we'll put one there definitely one in the yard um and we'll put one in each classroom i don't think we really need anything in here um yeah i don't think we'll really need anything in there uh I'm gonna put one here, or oh, actually, I might put multiple in here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do that and that. I know. Actually, I might do that because then it has a bigger arc. It's just it's about area coverage more than anything, um, and then we definitely, definitely need one in each one of these and then we will we'll spread them out throughout here now <laughs> i've completely run out of money now <laughs> so we're gonna have to uh hope our general education course gets uh, gets pushed through pretty fast do we have any other grants that we can actually uh that we can actually take obviously the intake um Let's fill capacity of criminally insane death row. Let's not have any prison transfer. Let's have death row come in. Let's have criminally insane come in. Let's have minimum and medium come in. Intake of 51. Christ almighty. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Right. We have three death row inmates that can uh, bite the bullet, so to speak. Uh, let's go ahead and actually get these ones rigged up that we can. Now, instead of just like individually clicking on them and going back, all you have to do is hold shift while you're clicking on them and you will have no problem at all with clicking multiple at once. Obviously, if you misclick them like that, it's not going to work. <laughs> right, so that is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and then we'll have this chappy on to uh, one. Now, the way you can see they're connected, you have a little little line at the bottom, and also if you hover over them, you'll get the line anyway. Two and three, and quite obviously, quite honestly, I've never used the tidy wire thing. I I, oh, sorry, I never used the F this. Um, I can get why people might use it, but uh, personally, I have never used it. You can actually, it's actually worked the same way it used to. You used to just drag the wires. Oh, you still do, but you have to be on the thing, on the actual CCTV monitor. Okay, yeah. Personally, I've I've never. I've never used it. Um, I've never really had a problem with the cables going the way they are. I get it if you have like ten monitors 
and you have like, I don't know, like a hundred plus cameras or something, then I can understand wanting to, uh, wanting to do that, but, uh, personally, never really needed it. Right, did anyone, how many sessions does it take? Oh Christ, ten sessions. Dead might take a while. <laughs> Holy moly. Right, once again. Uh, can we take any grants? Where have the grants gone? They're there. Um, I don't want any armed guards because they just cause problems. I don't want visitation because visitation causes problems. Um, do you know what, actually? Actually, I, I might. I might um yeah I'm gonna do it yeah let's do it let's do it let's have visitation for the first time in ages I will actually have a prison that has visitation uh question is <laughs> where on earth am I going to put it Um, <laughs> see, this is what happens when you're not used to having visitation in your prisons. If you don't ever, uh, you don't ever plan for it. Uh, now, we can solve the pool table. Uh, it's not going to be in staff, you moron. Can we fit it in there? <laughs> it's going to be really awkwardly in the way, isn't it? Uh, right, let's dismantle those two seats and we'll put it in there. It's going to be really, really awkward. I'm glad that, like, objects don't impact traffic. <laughs> Holy crap. Are we just, like, stacking them on the floor now? Because we... Oh, God, we have too many, don't we? Okay. Yeah, let's... Um... Let's not have people in there. Um, we kind of. Whoops. <laughs> kind of got a little bit, little bit OP. Little bit OP. I would like to get these. Um... Oh, you can't save. Oh, they're already set up. Okay. I missed it. God damn it. Right, does the visitation room have at least three visitor tables? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know where to put it. Now, um, I think the issue I used to have with visitation was the fact that the contraband was a pain in the ass because you only had these visitor tables. But you now have visitor booths, um, so they can't like get contraband through. So that's completely negated my argument for not wanting to uh, to have visitation. Oh, so 75 people have died in this prison. My god, that is not good. Uh, is there anything in bureaucracy that we can actually unlock? Well, how much money do we accept? Three and a half grand. Hmm. That's pretty shabby. That goes up pretty damn fast. Um, I suppose I could head for the office or tax haven, but I don't <laughs> be honest I don't really like feel like I need it I really really don't feel like I need it <laughs> I have I have felt really really odd playing uh, playing games like this recently um, for example I um, I started playing Factorio again uh, about two weeks ago um, uh, let me know down in the comments if you actually want me to uh, do a playthrough of Factorio because uh, I'm I'm absolutely loving and adoring that game again, but it takes a long ass time if you're not playing vanilla, <laughs> and I am definitely not playing vanilla. I think I have about 50 odd mods loaded into that game, and um, in one way it's making it a pain in the ass because it takes so long to do anything, um, but in another way, it's like it's really nice because it's a game that I know like 
it's going to be there constantly and you can just you know chip away at it for like 20 minutes every day or something like that and you will make pro progress and eventually you know it's going to come out as this massive thing and you'll be like holy crap i've <coughs> built that over the last six months that is absolutely insane because i things that like happen instantly in games where you want instant gratification for things um i just i don't enjoy i don't enjoy it at all i'm really i think i'm getting to that stage in my life where like i want to i want to put a certain level of effort into things that they actually take time to come to fruition and uh, uh you can tell i'm getting old <laughs> You can tell that I'm getting old because I'm word using words like fruition. <laughs> My God, I feel like I'm 50 already. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. What are we doing? We are building that wall, um, which we're waiting for money for. We are waiting for people to pass the general education course. Get another 40 grand. We are trying to work out where to build our vegetation, and I have absolutely no idea. Um, I suppose we can move our solitary, couldn't we? Yeah, let's do that. Let's move our solitary. We'll expand this out a bit, and we'll create vegetation here. That makes perfect sense. Right, I will see you when that is done. So, ladies and gents, we have finished creating our solitary over here, and uh, we have created our visitation over here, and we now have my least favourite event of all time, which is a sickness. <laughs> now, I've come up with, um, I think, a pretty solid way of solving these. Um, so, you can see, like, pretty much all the guys with green faces are infected so we're gonna go ahead and deploy our medical teams into the canteen and fingers crossed this used to work <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear who died actually is, is it it is going down yeah so it's still working right who died oh i forgot with the uh the amount of people coming in i forgot i don't want my stitches whoops <laughs> ah that's a bit of a issue that I've <laughs> never realised was a problem before. Right, can we get them in? And uh, do we have any other issues, or is it just that one guy? No, it's just that one guy. Okay, we're going to get some new CIs anyway, because why not? They're always helpful. Unless he... Oh, he's in... <laughs> is he cured? Nope. He's going to die at some point then. <laughs> oh my god. Right. At least we know we can do a uh, shakedown though. Right. They're all treated. They're treated. They're treated. They're treated. Right. We're going to go into bang up mode. And we still have a hundred. Um, well actually that's not entirely accurate. Because we have 136 people that are infected, but multiple of them are cured. So it's not entirely accurate. Okay, so they will like go for people when they're not exactly close to them. That's good to know. Okay, let's send these chappies down here. Come on. 
find everyone you can that is infected. Okay, so the infected number, oh, it's dropping like crazy. It's dropping like crazy. See, the, the issue I had was everyone went to lunch, and, like, that's one easy way of, like, combating them in a whole block. But at the same time, because it's a whole load of people in, like, the same place at the same time, it spreads like bloody wildfire. Note for people who don't think the coronavirus is a real thing, and... Uh, just like, eh, I don't need to follow those restrictions, I just go outside. Yeah, good job, you moron. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe people like still, still don't believe, Le legit, legit, there are people out there who still don't believe that the coronavirus is an actual thing and they think like it's a government conspiracy and everything, and it's like, no, like, we wouldn't shut down, like, three quarters of the bloody planet into lockdown mode if this wasn't an actual serious thing you imbecile <laughs> right uh, any of the um, they shouldn't be infected because they weren't out there that number's still going down But I'm going to keep my medics around until it disappears because I don't want <laughs> I don't want the uh, the great spread to come again. <laughs> and just like that, our infected population is solved and gone. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> At least I only have to deal with a population of 92 prisoners in, instead of like a population of what 70 odd million Yeah, makes it a lot lot easier. Damn that classroom is full as hell. Actually, it's Three empty seats, but still pretty full. Nice Right in that case <laughs> We have done uh, we've done pretty damn well. I can now build hopefully the rest of my perimeter wall Jeez, that's going to cost a lot of money. Wow. Right, let's go ahead and fit a uh, secure door somewhere in here. We have to dismantle the wall first, aren't we? See, I still go to the objects menu for the door. <laughs> I still do it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, we have really nice progress being made everywhere. I can pretty much just, like, run this without issue, like, by itself. Um, I am, however, going to make an export zone uh, because I want to... Oh, I did make an export zone. <laughs> I meant to do it because uh, I want to really get rid of some of the stuff that I've made now because I have a uh, a big, big old pile of it. Now we're going to do another search at between two and four a.m. because that is the time that is most likely for you to find tunnels. And uh, yeah. I think we've made pretty damn good progress. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, it was like this episode was pretty much just like waiting for cash to exist. Um, I mean, like, I could go, I could go the route of just taking out a uh, taking out a massive loan. I really, really could go that route. Of just taking out a massive, massive ass loan. Do I actually want to do it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, right, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to have another general education thing going. Because I really just want to get people through it and finished and done. I really, really just need to get it done now. Uh, we don't need, do we need any more people? Uh, 16. 
Yeah, we do need a few more people. Okay. And are there any people interested in the carpentry? There are people interested in the carpentry. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, God. I love this game so much. And I genuinely, genuinely hope Paradox do something interesting with it. Because whilst it does have a lot you can do in it, um, it's kind of in the same situation as other indie games, such as Factorio, which is without a lot of development work on it and without a lot of mods, there is only so far you can go in the game. And don't get me wrong, with the amount of mods I've added into Factorio, it hasn't actually changed the game in any way in terms of um, what you're actually doing in it. You're still doing the same thing. You're still unlocking the same items. You're still creating the same items. It just takes longer because the items need more resources. Um, some of those resources are a lot rarer than others. Um, so it just makes the game longer. It doesn't actually change what you're doing in the game. It just takes longer. And uh, I, I really, really think that that is something that uh, Prison Architect is going to have to seriously look into doing in the, uh, in the near to foreseeable future. Otherwise, they are going to pretty much kill their game because people are just going to get bored of doing the same thing over and over. So, ladies and gents, with that, I know we haven't made a huge amount of visual progress, um, but by the time I uh, bring up the next episode of um, Sentencing to Straight Jacket, I will have the foundations and plans of the, uh, the bigger facility ready to go, and we will have some plans in place of how we're going to convert this into our production, really money-earning um, area and this into our insane asylum but we're not going to call it an insane asylum because you're not allowed to call it an insane asylum <laughs> I don't actually know what the politically correct term for that is it'll be interesting to find out as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your support and I'll see you in the next episode of Sentencing to Tree it would be it would help if that wasn't such a tongue twister and I could actually say it <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode of Sentence to Straight Jacket.